Hello and welcome to the Needle Creations Crochet Video Workshop. We're here to show you how to do some techniques along with some tips on how to create your crochet project. This segment is going to be on a crochet beehive and the name of it is Buzzy. Your kit is an advanced level. Let's take a look and see what all the goodies are that we have inside. You have your instructions and a bag of fiber fill. You have the yarn. With the yarn coming in hanks like this, I suggest that you roll all of these into a ball prior to using them. It's gonna make it a whole lot easier to work your project. We have a hook, a plastic needle, and the bead eyes. You're also going to need a needle and thread to sew your eyes on. There's a great set of instructions. The skill level is listed as advanced. Make sure that you understand your instructions before you begin and practice the stitches being used so that you don't become overwhelmed working on your project. Your kit will come with a 3.5 millimeter hook. It may be white, it may be blue. Many of us have our favorite hook, but we recommend you use the hook that comes with this kit to maintain gauge or the tension of your fabric so you won't run out of yarn. There's five different areas to a hook. The head, the throat or the neck, the shaft, the thumb rest, and then there's the handle. You can hold it like this or you can hold it like this. The head of the hook is smaller and pointed so it makes it easy to go in, but your stitch should always be equal with the shaft part of your hook. And that also will help you with your gauge. You may find that there's a little bit of a rough spot on the top of the head lightly smooth that out. Many crochet instructions will include a gauge check before you begin. Having the correct tension, which is how tight or loose you crochet, is important to your project coming out to the correct size and will ensure that you don't run out of yarn. You'll single crochet a swatch and you'll count the number of rows and stitches across to make sure that it matches what your instructions say. Also on your instructions, you're going to see your abbreviations. Make sure you understand each one, the colors of the yarn, the various stitches. If you have to repeat any instructions, you will see an asterisk or brackets, then your other abbreviations. Each instruction sheet will have great graphics on what stitches are used for this project. If you need a refresher to practice any of them, please check our crochet stitches video. So let's get started on our hive. We're going to make a slip knot. Chain three. And then you're going to slip stitch into that first chain and you're going to create a ring. See, it's, it's, a, it's a tiny ring, but you're, you're going to work your stitches in there. So we're going to chain one and we're going to work half double crochets into that opening. So we're going to do eight. So that's a half double crochet is yarn around your hook pull up a loop, you have three loops. And through all three of them. So let's do that again. We have eight. Now count your stitches to make sure you can identify them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now this right here may look like a stitch, but it's not. This is where you've done your beginning chain. You want to slip stitch into that first stitch to join it. Pull the tail here so you can tighten your opening. 
And then we'll go back and weave that in after a few rounds. Now on your second round, you're going to chain one and you're going to increase. So you're going to place two half double crochet in each stitch around. So that'll give us 16 stitches. All right, we're at the end of the round. Again, count your stitches at the end of each round to make sure while you're increasing that you're getting the proper number of stitches required. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. We're going to join. Again, each one of these rounds is joined. And then you're going to chain one. And then you can continue on. Now, after you've completed a couple of rounds, I suggest you come in and weave your tail in to close the center so you don't have a hole. So we're going to insert our needle through the loops of those stitches. Pull it through and tighten it. Clip and you see it's closed the opening. And following the instructions, continue through to round eight. After you've completed round seven, you have all of your increases. You should have 56 stitches, and you're going to work in the back loop only, working a half double crochet. So that's a yarn over, insert into the back loop. You see these? There's a front and a back loop here. You complete your stitch. Don't pull your yarn too tight. You want your fabric firm, but you don't want it too tight. Just let the yarn flow through your fingers and over your hook. Now that you've completed round eight, and then we're going to join. And this is the last time you will join for the hive. From here on out, you're going to be working in a continuous round. So we're going to cut a color, use something that's a different color than what you're using for a marker. Now at this point, we're going to flip it around. So we're going to be working from the back side. And this is where I suggest you place a marker. And I will put it right here to the right and we're going to work front post double crochet. So we're going to chain one, wrap our yarn around our hook, and when it says front post you're going to work around the post of the stitch. So if you can see where our, we've inserted our hook from the front to the back around and back up again around the post. We're going to pull that loop through and then complete your double crochet. Now this first round is a little more difficult because you're working around the post of a half double crochet. Once you get your first round of front post double crochets, it does get easier as you go around. And there we've done it again. So insert your hook around the post of the stitch, pull your loop through, and I sometimes find it easier to turn your work just a bit. Makes it easier to work the stitches or take the loops off your hook.
Now continue in this manner for two more rounds. After you complete this, you're going to work two rounds. Now just to show you real quick how this is going to look, this is going to start creating the ridges for your hive. Now I've just completed round 19. We're going to start round 20. And then you're going to be decreasing. And you can see here, the posts are much easier to work around as you build your hive. So we're going to do a front post double crochet, and then we're going to do a front post double crochet decrease. So that's yarn over, around the post, pull up a loop, yarn over through two loops. Do that in the next stitch. Yarn over, around the post, through two loops, then through all three. And then we're going to do a regular front post double crochet. And then we're going to do a decrease. Yarn over, around the post, pull up a loop, yarn over through two loops. Yarn over, around the post, pull up a loop, through two loops, then through all three. Now we've completed the hive through round 22. I'm going to cut off about a 10 inch end. Pull this through and take your marker off. And at this point, you want to flip it to the right side. Just push it a little bit with your thumbs through the opening. And you can see your hive. Now you've got a little opening right here. Just stitch that closed. And this is where we began our front post. So I'll come in from the back and just pick up a few of the loops on those first two rounds of front post double crochet. Throw a few whip stitches in there. Close that. We'll tie it off. Clip your ends. You're going to take your fiber fill. I like to air it, fluff it out a little bit. It's very compact. So I just pull it. See, there's a whole lot more in there than what it looks like. And you need to save a little bit of it to use for the bees, but the bees will not need a lot, so the majority of your fill will go into the hive. And again, use your thumbs. Should be able to push it through the opening. If you have an issue with that, use a pencil, the end of a pen, a chopstick, a wooden dowel, I like to use my hands as long as I can work within the opening. Okay, we'll save this for our bees. Okay, we're going to take the tail we cut at the end and go around the stitches, so in and out. You have eight stitches when you finish the last round. And just pull that to close it. Clip that off. And there's our hive. You're going to make a hanger, slip knot on your hook, chain 30,
cut off a little bit of a tail so you have a nice tail on each end. Pull it together and just work this through the top. Now what I like to do is take one end, pull it through, come over, pick up the other end, tie it. Don't pull too tight, you'll pull your chain through. And let's just weave these down into and then clip it off. And now you have your hive completed. Now we're going to be making the bees. We're going to make three of these. This is also started in the same manner that you did the hive bottom. So you're going to work in the ring and we get to round five. And this is where we're going to change color and start making stripes on the body. So to change color, you complete your round. Before you slip stitch to join, this is where you're going to add your color. Leave the gold to the back because we're going to make several rounds of stripes. Now I like to just kind of tie this down to keep it in place. And we're just going to work single crochets. And now we're going to change back to the gold. So we're going to insert our hook and join with the gold. Again, single crochet around. Round nine is completed. This is where we can fasten off the gold color. And at this point, I like to sew the eyes on. So you're going to need a uh, needle and thread, just regular sewing thread. I double it. You can see where the seam is in the back. So try to position and bring your needle through a stitch. And you can place them wherever you like. And this is sometimes difficult trying to get your bead to, oh, I did it come back down through there we go without tangling it that's the difficult part and then I'm going to come over just a couple of stitches and you can put your eyes as close together or far apart as you like come up Grab another bead. Back down through the fabric, the stitch. Not through one of the spaces because the thread will pop right out. And flip this around. and tack your thread down. Also, this is a good time to add some fiber fill. Don't need a whole lot. And then you come in and pick up your black and complete and you finish it off. Now these are all the pieces. We have three bees, wings, so there's six of those, the opening of the hive, the circle that goes around it, and the hive. So now we're going to show you how to assemble it. The hive opening is made in the same way as the others working it around. 
we're going to position it and you can see the back this is where you weren't joining but you were working in the round so that'll be your back and I try to center that just come up a few rows and again this is your own personal preference on how you want to make this hive look and I like to flatten it out and pin it down with my crochet hook keep it in place take the ring that goes around and lay it out to make sure that you have your opening flattened out to where that's going to fit around it so you can stitch it down. And we're going to stitch the opening first, keeping it flat. We're going to add a little fiber fill once we get halfway around. This would be a good place to add a little bit of fiber fill. You don't need a whole lot. Again, keep this flat so your outer ring will fit. Now before I clip my end, I always try to make sure if I'm adding something to it that it's right in case I have to pull it out. So let's place the ring back around. Yes, this is going to fit, so I'll go ahead and clip my end. Okay, hold this in place with your ends on the bottom. Stitch these together and then just stitch it down, holding it in place around the hive opening. And on this, you don't have to go stitch by stitch. You can skip every few as I'm doing. You just want to make sure that it's secure. We're going to take the other end weave it through clip our ends all right so now we're going to add the wings to the bee and I like to position them right behind an eye beginning with the first black stripe couple of stitches to tack it down. Okay, and we're going to add our second one over on this side. Now if you've placed your eyes a little further apart, you know, you may want your wings a little closer. Again, use your own judgment on this. This is your creation. Make it how you want. Come on, one more stitch through the front and then bring it through. Clip our ends. Leave that black tail. That's going to be used to sew it onto the hive. So there. Complete your other two bees in the same manner. Now we're going to sew the bees on. And you can position these anywhere you like. There's three of them. You can follow the photo or place them however. Use the tail. And just kind of come through the back side make a few stitches and I like to take my yarn through the back and there we go
And there we have it. There is Buzzy Beehive. And if you have any questions, you can contact us via email, help at askacrafter.com. I love to crochet.